and i am pleased to say that in december in khartoum sudan the document was approved by the mina regional council as a document for mina region we only had to then finalize and customize it and present it in alexandria in may 2017 so only a fortnight ago i was in alexandria in egypt and we presented this document so these mina guidelines the the prompt guidelines are in fact now mina guidelines 22 countries are going to implement it in their countries 22 countries will accept this document as the national document for these countries and now there are 12 chapters as per the recommendations of the mina guideline committee so final part of my talk is future directions uh, perhaps you will feel that some work has been done but what i want to make you feel is a lot of work is needed to be done and this is important in our parts of the world we need a lot to be done so we set our own future directions we had this congress in august in pakistan a very rich international faculty graced the occasion and a very rich national faculty help us out in having this international event done so the first project we started now is footwear for every diabetic we say okay reduce the amputation rate but still we need to reduce the ulcer rate if we prevent people from primarily developing the foot ulcer we reduce the amputation rate and this is much more cost effective time effective resource effective than to reduce the amputation rate so we have started this project 2016 to 2019 with the funding from world diabetes foundation it's called fed footwear for every diabetic every diabetic should have a customized footwear now when we talk of customized footwear the cost comes into play so instead of franchising it to private organizations we said that we will limit this footwear production to the teaching hospitals so the teaching 10 teaching hospitals in pakistan their foot clinics generates this footwear for this we have to develop the footwear manufacturing facility in these 10 centers which world diabetes foundation helped us out to train the cobbler basically to make a diabetic footwear for our diabetic patients and this is the first training going on bell ninson you can see the white person he is from denmark came to pakistan twice he is also coming again in december so training after training for these foot care assistants this is the machine which is italian based in soul development machine this accepts the digital pedograph so the digital photograph goes in for the foot pressures and an insole comes out we have got this pad installed in 10 different centers in pakistan so multan and lahore and peshawar and islamabad and quetta all 10 big cities teaching hospitals our advisory board has got these 10 pads a patient walks on it gives his foot impression this is digitally transferred to karachi and from karachi the insoles are produced and sent back to these 10 centers so then then have their customized shoe made and this shoe is costing us nearly 10 10 10, 10 to 15 dollar for the customized shoes the next is diabetes and ramadan and i can see that sanjay and professor tinsulet has worked on uh, fasting uh, in in minma uh, we are doing the work in diabetes and ramadan professor yaqub leads the uh, ramzan stream we plan to train doctors so we do workshops and cmes before ramadan and these are the big numbers which we are going to achieve inshallah 3000 doctors to be trained to workshops and courses and later on 10000 doctors we do have whole diabetes ramzan conference every year we do workshops in smaller towns teaching doctors and diabetes educators how to manage fasting and diabetic patients during ramadan see from caring for well being